If I was going to use one word to describe Laura Wooten, it would be steadfast. Dedicated. Inspiration. Legend. Champion. A real champion for civic responsibility. Her 79 consecutive years of working the polls just talks to her tenacity. She had a passion, she had a belief, and she worked towards it her entire life. My grandmother, Laura Wooten, was born on December 19th, 1920, in Goldsboro, North Carolina. She passed away at the age of 98 in 2019. She had quite a full life. She retired from Princeton Medical Center, and then she went to work at Butler Hall at Princeton University for another 27 years. When we would go to Butler, there was this very kind woman who just made us feel so welcome. She was kind of like the grandmother of a lot of the students. She wasn't a rich lady financially, but she was so rich in love, she would do anything that she could do for you. For years, that was how I knew her, just as this very kind person. And then years later, finding out that she was really a national hero. Once her family came to Princeton, she started working the election polls when she was 18. Laura Wooten was the longest continuously serving poll worker in the nation. She served for 79 years, volunteered at all levels of elections, whether it was a local election, a primary election, or a national election. The responsibility of a poll worker is to check individuals in to make sure that they're in the right polling district and then give them the card for them to go into the booth to vote. She didn't care if you were Democrat, Republican, Independent, she just said go out and vote. She wanted her voice heard and she felt that being a poll worker would bring individuals in because so many people had fought for the right to vote. She was born at a time when women didn't have the vote. She lived through a time when the black community was disenfranchised. In spite of that, she believed in democracy. She believed in the power of everyone's vote. She was very humble and like every matriarch, very strong and proud and was devoted to the work that she was doing. I don't think I ever saw her in a give up moment. Her brother died the day before the last election and then she got up that morning, she had missed her ride and she decided to walk at 4 a.m. with this cane to the election place. And I'm like, wow. I said, I don't know if I'm mad at you or I'm like in awe. I introduced a civics bill in 2018. We needed to provide civics to every child in our schools in the state of New Jersey. And after Laura Wooten passed, that was when I decided I was going to change the name of the bill in honor of her contribution and her dedication to the electoral process here in the state of New Jersey. I thought that she was worthy of that. When I heard about Laura Wooten's law, it was surreal. There are quite a few of us who are educators out of her grandchildren and in my mom also. We get to teach about our grandmother to children. When I heard about the naming of Laura Wooten Hall, I actually was walking by the building when I found out and I was fascinated. The Committee on Naming was formed in order to try to diversify who we're honoring on campus. We want to recognize people that we want to encourage students to emulate. And I think that Laura Wooten is a perfect example. When her name first came up, the committee reacted to it because a lot of people on the committee knew her. They remembered her from the dining hall and remembered her as this incredibly friendly person. But really, even in the committee, most people did not know about this other part of her life, that she, in addition to being a dining service worker, also was dedicating her time to going to the polls every year. When the committee learned this, we were excited to be able to recognize this person who had meant multiple things to the university community. She really exemplifies Princeton at our best. This is what it means to be a Princetonian, to be kind and to be committed and to be invested in social good. It really makes this institution better to have a Laura Wooten Hall and to remember her legacy. If she were still with us and she saw all of the fuss, is what she would say. <laughs> all of the fuss about Laura Wooten Hall or her law. I don't think she thought that this little lady from down south that came to Princeton just to raise her family would even make such an impact. My grandmom is really special. <laughs> I mean, she was already special to me, but now she's special on like a global, you know, stage. So that's pretty amazing, and I'm really proud of her.